Hey, what's up, guys? It's just Jager Reviews, and this is my special New Year's video for you guys. I'm gonna go over going going every single car review this year. I'm picking my, I'm, I'm picking of each category. I'm picking my favorite of each one. So let's get started. First things first. Let's start with SUVs. That's a big thing going around. Everybody's buying SUVs lately, so might as well get them out of the way. I reviewed two this year. I reviewed a Hyundai Hyundai Vera Cruz 2012. I like that car. It was it was a good car for what it was. But for me, I'm not a big SUV guy. You guys know, and it's not really I want to buy it because it's just not something I'm just not. It's just too big for me. But I, it's a perfect college car. I really like it. It's it's a good car. It's a good buy, and they're all worth around. It's like some guy right now can get for one, which is a good deal. You get a big vehicle, which not all the latest and greatest technology, but pretty much you get all the modern ball bells and whistles and stuff like that, which is really all you really need for a first car. I mean, it's a perfect first car for a girl going to college or a mom who just needs doesn't really have a lot of money and needs a good car. Go to life. It's a good car for that. It's perfect. Now on to the most expensive car I reviewed this year, <laughs> the beautiful Volvo XC90 T6 all-wheel drive. That thing was incredible. Oh, sorry, inscription. God, I'm sure you that. That thing was insane. I mean, it was the most nicest car I've ever driven. Well, SUV-wise. I mean, I just can't believe how nice it was. It blew me away. I knew it would be nice because it's a it's a Volvo. Volvo was luxury, so I figured it would be much much nicer than, you know, a Highlander or Silverado. No, it's not Suburban, Tahoe, you know. No luxury, bro. But no, Volvo was like, yeah, we're going to make this extra nice. Yeah. it's And it's one of the nicest... SUVs on the market. I mean, that thing's insane. I mean, you have a bag. You have all all the technology you give. Yeah, including extra stuff. You get a little, a little. I don't know if I showed you. You can have the map in the middle of the screen. Like while you're driving, instead of looking to the side from the map, you can look in the middle. The middle where the gauges. We look down, see your speedometer. There's a the map. Where am I going? There it is. Going on blah 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 street. Exactly. Has this display works really good. It's just an amazing car, and what I like about it is Volvo is known for making funny car, funny looking, having some quirks about their cars back in the day. So it has a little button that is hilarious. That if you push, and look at the seats, the all this the back seat headers fold down at the same time. <laughs> Why would you need that? I don't know, but the owner uses it to get the kids to stop fighting, which <laughs> would be very <laughs> I'm sorry, that is just hilarious. I also like the fact that you can press the button on the control panel, and you can control the passenger seat. You like you, you want much of your passenger? Just do that, and you can control the passenger seat. I know some cars are doing that now, but this is the thing. This is not a a stage, not a car, a show four car. It's an SUV. People are going. People drive these cars. <laughs> I just, I just, I just love this car. And and a lot, and the, the driving is insane. I loved how you can put it, change the driving modes from going from a sport. And that's what I like. A luxury, comfortable. It's it's good. It's just a, it's just what you expect a luxury car to be. To you put that little sucker in dynamic, and the whole thing turns checks up like a rocket. I'm not kidding. That thing's insane. It's not as quick as a, you know, a Trackhawk or SRT Durango, any of those that are really high performance, but it gets up and goes, and it's pretty quick. That thing's insane. What I also liked about it is when you're in sport mode, the seat's kind of tight <laughs> around you. Not just the seat but the the seats have these little uh, I don't know what you call parts of the letter that kind of like can move that can move, and the seats when I was in sport mode it tightened up around me it was kind of funny. <laughs> so 
So, yeah, it, it's an amazing car. I highly recommend to any woman or man anywhere who just wants a nice SUV. It's one of the it's it's one of the nicest things I've ever driven. And and that's saying a lot. I've driven lots of cars. I highly recommend this. This this for any if you have kids, you want an SUV because you want into the SUV craze or anything like that. Just get this car. You will not be so. You will not be disappointed. I promise you. They have lots of general colors. They have lots of different trims. I highly recommend getting the the. I'm not sure this comes standard, but be sure you get the center display with the map. I highly recommend it. That's very helpful. I highly recommend getting the seat thing because that's just that's just funny. I I love that button. I it, there's no point to it, but I love it anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, that's and that's why this year my this year's 2018 best SUV goes to the Volvo. And now I didn't go over the features of the Hyundai, but it it just has basic stuff. Besides, it had somewhat of a backup camera. Or was a camera? It kind of beep if you're about to hit something. So kind of, but. It's a, it was an old car. I only reviewed two cars. I was going to review more cars, but I just didn't get them in. I had one buddy who was going to let me review his Suburban, but he hasn't had the time with work, which I completely understand. You're busy, man. We'll, we'll get it done next year. Don't worry. I had another lady who was going to let me review a Tahoe. Same thing. She was busy. It's just what I get. So, those are only two cars. I'm not saying I don't like the Vera Cruz. I do like the car. That thing is a good car. I highly recommend it to any college student or any first time car buyers or just that don't want, can't afford a new one or anything like that. It's just, it's a good car. And it gets up and goes for an SUV. That's insane. It, it has a whole, it, I was surprised at how much of a giddy up it had. But I'm sorry. I, I can't say no to the Volvo. I mean, I really, I really want, if I choose between the Vera Cruz and the Volvo, I'll buy the Volvo. Just man, because I just, I love that car. It's one of the few SUVs I would actually buy. And I'm not an SUV guy at all. It's not like, oh, Jake, you know, you just, you like Volvo, you, you would love you. Like, no, I just really like the car. It's not, it's not because of that SUV, because I like the car. I don't just judge because, oh, it's an SUV, I'm going to buy a magazine. No, I don't do that. Alright, next category. Let's start with Let's see. Let's let's get lots of cars out of the way. Our review of one, and it was the beautiful is 2016 SRT. No, that's not SRT. Sorry, sorry, Hammy. Sorry, SRT fans. I'm sorry. I messed up. RT Plus Shaker Challenger. That thing was insane. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna hear me say it loud. I know. I I just I can't believe how much fun it was. It's a V8 engine. With 375 horsepower, and it's a manual, and it's a V8, and it's a two-door car, and I just love it. It's a, it is 100% a muscle car. People say, "Oh, it's heavy, yaddy yaddy." It's a muscle car. There's no doubt about it. It's a muscle car, and it feels like it. It drives like it. It behaves. It she behaves like it, and I, I love the car. I love that Hemi. That Hemi is insane. It's. I, I love that Hemi. It's in, and it made me a Hemi lover. I mean, that's how much I love that car. Would I buy one? Absolutely. If I had the money, I would add one. I would buy it right then and there. I don't know if I would get the RT, but maybe I might get the Hellcat. I haven't really it yet. But I really like the car. I would totally buy it in the manual. I mean, I think it's fun in the manual. It's, it's a wonderful car. So that's why this year's only muscle car goes to the Challenger. Now, the main reason I'm not going to go into the sport car category is because technically, yes, it is a sport car because it has two doors according to insurance companies, but it is not a sport car. That thing does not behave like a normal sport car. It's not that formula. It has the muscle car formula back in the 80s. V8, wheel wheel drive, manual, a lot of power, a lot of fun. That's, and that's exactly what it is. But it's also a nice driver you can drive every day. You can drive a muscle car every day. My buddy who, my friend who owns, Raul who owns it, he drives it every day. I mean, why not? You have heat seats, cool seats, all the technology that you could possibly need, and you have a beautiful engine for music. Of course, it has a good sound system, but do you really, really need music when you have a V8? 
I don't need music. I have a V8. I would just floor it across the line. That would give me in trouble, but cops, they, 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 they still just look the other way when I come by. <laughs> uh, I love that car. So that's why it's, it's the only one, yes or no, but if there was an, another one, I would probably still choose it as the best most car of the year, because I love it so much. It's Oh, I love the Challenger. She's a beautiful. She's beautiful. She's wonderful. She's just a beautiful car. All right, next category, sport cars. These are actual sport cars, not, you know, the average car. All right, we have several. So we're going to compare them a good, good many. We have the 2001, I think, or one, or two, yeah, Honda Prelude. I love that car. That thing's a, it made me want to one. We have the 2003 Honda Civic. I love that car. That thing's a, it made me want one. After seeing it in a while and riding with, but the owner and constant, we do lots of, we hang out a lot. I'm going to buy one. And you guys know I'm going to get one of the project cars as soon as I get the money. And it's insane. It's it's a wonderful car. I love the power. I love how it's easy and modifiable. I like how not many people know about them. It's just unique. Every time I see one on the road, I'm like, that guy knows what's up. I just, I love them. I can't wait to get mine. It's just, they're such a beautiful, wonderful car to drive. You, you have to drive it. I love I love how it wide the white wide it is. I love how you can get a good manual. I love how you can easily modify it so easily, make it your own. It's it's a good car. Yes, it may be old, but that's kind of the point. Oh yeah, I really like that car. All right, next up we have. I want to think the Lotus is next. Was that the last? Yeah, let's go ahead and do a list. The Lotus really liked that car. It was a beautiful. It was like I said, that thing is insane. It, it just it surprised me how fast it is. I I did not expect it to be that quick. Yes, I know it. I knew it'd be fast, but I think oh, it's a four cylinder. It's gonna be quick, but not too quick as a V six. No, 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 no. That thing weighs two thousand pounds, and weight means everything, everything. It had, it may have a four cylinder, Toyota four cylinder, but it has a supercharger and it's soon to make 300 horsepower. Now, what do you get with 300 horsepower? We will drive. Let's see what else. Was it four? I'm not exactly sure. I'll look it up. Mid engined and it weighs 2,000 pounds. What does that equal? A flat out track car. That's what that equals. The engine doesn't have to work too hard. To get up and go, so it takes up like lightning. I mean, if you think about it, a person that weighs 200 pounds and a person that weighs maybe 150 is going to have a is going to going to be harder to harder to get up and go. But right? this is based on the same the both persons or the same gender, same race, same everything. That's what we're going by now. With a 150 pounds, we're going to be able to get up and go easy because the heart can work, but the worker's heart. Same thing with this, with the car. It's in the, it's the same engine, but it doesn't have the worker's heart because it has less weight. So it can get up and go faster. And on top of that, gravity's not pushing it down so hard, so it can easily take off the line. So yeah, it is a beautiful car, and I absolutely enjoy it. Now, next one. All right, that concludes our, our the sport car category. I'm sorry I had to pause for a bit. I wanted to make sure I covered all the cars, all the sport cars, because then I want people to get mad saying you didn't include the blah 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 car. Well, sorry, I'm a I'm human. I sometimes forget some. So yeah, that's it. So the winner of this year is. I'm sorry, Prairie fans. I'm sorry. I love the car. I love it. But this year goes to the Lotus. I'm sorry. That thing is stupid fast. I, and here's why. The, yes, I love the Prelude. I love how it's old. I love how many people know about it. I love how it's fast. I love it's a good car. It's a good manual. But the reason why, but the Lotus, it's special. 
the prelude is very special to me now, and I love the card to death. Now, we'll get one eventually, but the Lotus, that is probably one of the most special cars I've ever driven. I mean, I drive lots of cars. That car stood out amongst lots of lots of cars. It's so, I've, I've, now, yes, every car is different, but a lot of cars, they, they're very familiar with one another, but they're, they're so unique. But I'm like, oh, let's drive like this, just like this. Not this car. This car is a wonderful kind of car, and I will forever remember me driving that beautiful Red Lotus. She is a beautiful car, and I love her. She, she, I hope that granddaughter up there is smiling down to know that her car that she named after is doing great and is an amazing car. Thank you so much to the owner for letting me drive it, because it is a great car. If you haven't driven one, go out there, go find one, no matter where it is, go find one and just drive it. You will understand why it's so special. I mean, you have to drive that car. Seeing that on the road, seeing that around, it's like, oh, it's real cool, it's nice. But I had no idea how much fun it would be, how fast it is, and just how unique she is. She is so special. She is a truly a special car. Lotus may not be the best brand in the world, but I love that car. I see why people love it so much. Why Lotus has so much respect and so much heritage because of that. And here's why. That's why it's this year's 2018 best best sport car of the year. It's it's amazing. I did saw a little bit, but I saw the trailer too, so that that can't can't be count. And that's not that I don't love the pre the prelude. I love that car. It's unique. It's fast. I'm gonna get one one day. But to me, with the prelude, I'll have one for a very long time. But eventually, I might get I might get something else. I do like the car, but the Lotus. It's so special that I don't think I can find another car that feels exactly like that. Now I don't know. I've, I've, I'm I'm so. I'm dri I've driven lots of cars, but I haven't driven that many yet, so... I don't know yet, but... That car is just unique, it's special... And it's so much more than just a sport car. It's a, tr it's a track car, it's lightweight... Yes, it's annoying to get in and out of, but... When you drive it, you don't care. You don't care what... You, don't, you put up with all the quirks. It's kind of like being with this, the, the one you want to marry, this girl you want to marry. You, she may be, have a crush, she may be a little, she, she may do something you don't like, but when you're around her, when you're taking her out, you, you don't worry about those things. Those things just mean nothing to you. It's, you're able to avoid that and just look at the good things about her. And that's what this car is. It's, it's a beautiful car. It's beautiful, it's fun to drive, and it's special. That car truly is a unique and special car. I don't think I'm ever going to forget driving it. It's, she's a beautiful car and I love it. Thank you so much to the owner for letting me drive it. I highly appreciate it. I will never forget it. Of course, I'm driving lots of other of his cars, but that car is special. It's, I see why he has it. I see why he, it's old, but he puts up with it. He may have issues now that he puts up with it. It's, it's because of that car. If it wasn't that spot, if it didn't drive or be as fun, it wouldn't be worth it. But the fact, it's worth it. The fact is, the people who designed this car knew they had to make something special. Something that people will remember, look back on, like, oh, that car was amazing. I'm, well, you did a good job. I doubt you're watching this video, but... You did an absolutely wonderful job. Thank you, Lotus. Thank you for making this beautiful car. She may be hard to get into, but I love it. So that's why it's, it's this year's 2018 car. All right, next category. Let's see. Let's do. Oh, trucks. Let's do some trucks. Trucks and off roaders. I didn't. I forgot to include the Jeep Wrangler, mainly because it's, it's, yes, I know it's an SUV, and more trying to put it as a SUV of the year, but it's way more than an SUV. 
in fact, it's not that quite that practical with the converter or not to SUV. So, I don't really consider that really an SUV. It isn't to me. I can, I consider a good. I don't consider a car, but I don't consider an SUV like a Toyota Highlander. I'm not going to compare those two together because. No, I would I would compare the Jeep Cherokee to it because that is an SUV that does have a lot of space. That is something you you would see a mom drive him like that, but not the right one. So let's compare trucks and uprotors. First is um we have the beautiful 2007 Chevy Avalanche. Now if you guys don't remember this car, this is one of the first ones I reviewed. So. Most of the my new my subscribers that are out there probably don't know about this video, but I highly recommend watching it. It's I really like that truck. That thing surprised me. I really thought it was just gonna be a truck. Feel like a truck, drive like a truck. Be you know, be a truck. It's a truck, it's real like a truck. No, it's way more than that. It drives like a Cadillac. It's an amazing car. I like the wood, I like all the leather, it, it has some quirks to it, like, part of the, like, I think you can move it back and forwards, but you can't move it with the seat, however you do that manually, or, or I, might, I forget which is which, I just know it's a little weird. With the, I don't know why they couldn't give you old power seats, but I guess, they had to save that for the Escalade, I guess, but, it's a good car. They should bring it back, I mean, that thing drives like a Cadillac, and people now are wanting Cadillac, pretty much Cadillac SUV, Cadillac trucks now. It's pretty much what they want. So, yeah, Chevy, make the sinking car. When people want it, people will buy it. You don't think when people buy it? Look at Ford's and Ram sales, and tell me people don't want a luxury truck. If you think people don't want a luxury truck, then you, are, you, you need to get out of the truck business. That's all I'm saying. Alright, next. Uh, 2005, the Ram Dakota V8, specifically the V8. That thing was amazing. I love the color, obviously, but the it's a little truck with the V8, and that's what makes it so special. Not just because oh, so it's it's fast, right? Well, it's not just that; it's fun. If you People who don't, who have, don't really drive trucks out there, it's it really is a man's car. It's it's big, it's rough, it's good hauler. You feel like a king driving it, but it's not because it's a size. It's what's inside the truck, what's under the hood, the heart of the beast. It's what we love so much. Yes, we like being high up, we like feeling big, but. When you buy a truck, what do you want? Do you want V6? You want that Eagle Boost? You want the Eagle Boost? Yeah, no. No, no, wait, no, you don't want the Eagle Boost. No. You don't want the Eagle Boost. Unless you really want to say gas mileage, you don't buy the Eagle Boost. You buy the stinking V8. Why? Because the V8's amazing. It has that grumble. It has that muscle car feel. That's why we love V8 so much. They're good haulers. They're good, they're reliable, they do what you need to do, and they won't really ever give up on you. I have a 1985 F-250 with an International V8, and it's never stopped giving up on me. You have to give her a little bit of ether, but she gets up and goes. That truck just won't give up on me. And that's what I love about V8s is they don't want to give up on you. American V8s love you and respect you. Oh yeah, that's why I love that car. What am I saying? All right, so yeah, I was saying about the, the Dakota. I love the V8. Now, this is not just this is a big truck. This is a little little truck that's about the same size as the Tacoma, but instead of a four-cylinder or a six-cylinder, it's got a whopping four point like seven or four seven. V Magnum V8. Not a little four so not a little six owner. The big boy V8. I don't know I don't know if you 
as Hemi fans consider it Hemi, but it's still a Dodge, and I love the fact that it has a V8 in it. It can tow haul, it can get up and go, and it just has that V8 nature I love. So, I love the truck. It's an amazing truck. Now, would I buy one? Heck yeah, I'll buy one. Should Ram make a new one? They better make a new one, because this thing is stupid fast. Now, the main reason why they stopped making them was because they charged the same price for the bigger 1500, which makes sense if you're a player thinking, well, I can either get the 1500, which tells more, or has a V8, or I can get to the Dakota, which is little, gets better gas mileage, but it's still, but the smaller in engine, uh, I'd rather have the big one. That's kind of how it went down, but what Ram Chrysler, via whoever is out there, who is it, if they're listening, guess what you need to do? Redo the Dakota, make it as nice as the 1500, put a whopping good V8 in there, make it a heavy. Doesn't have to be a big engine, but just make it a heavy. And don't charge too much for it. Don't make it this, don't make it 60,000 or 70,000 as they are now. Make it, let's see, let's make the V8 fully loaded $53,000. Am I okay with that? I don't know if 53,000, if you would buy the truck if it was 53,000. Brand new V8 fully loaded, whatever car you want, wherever you, all the trims, the nicest wheels you can get, the most of everything. Everything is on it. $53,000. Let me know if you would buy it with that price. So, I would buy it at that price. That's a good price. So, yeah. I highly recommend this truck to anybody. So, next up is, well, I don't know if you want to consider this a truck, but what's well, not really a truck. It is an off-roader, and I am including it in the off-roader side of this category, it is the beautiful 1997 Jeep Wrangler. Do I really need this? Go and detail how much wonderful a Wrangler is. I don't think so, since most everybody knows a Wrangler is its own thing and it's amazing. And that's why it, it's this year's 2018 best tr best off roader of the year. Not truck, because not truck. When I breathe the gladiator, that'll be a completely different story. But it is the best off roader. If I was going to drive, if I was going off road, specifically off road, and I have a choice of the Wrangler, the, all, the Dakota, or the Avalanche, I want to take the Wrangler. And here's why. You trust it more. It's, it may be a little four-stoner, but it can do anything. It, you, it has been proven time and time after again. They use these things in the war. This thing won World War II. Yeah. If it can win a World War II, which back then we all know how wonderful World War II world trenches were back in the day. All that wonderful terrain Germany has back in the day. So if that, tr if that vehicle can do that, there is nothing it can't handle. And if it can go over it, then it is that itch is not made to go over. That's why I, that's why it's this year's best 20 off road of the year. Not best truck because it's not truck. Now, now let's pick the best truck. Like I said, we have the Avalanche of Dakota. I love the Avalanche, but it, I like it, but it, it, it's so laggy. The V8, the, 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 the old 07 Chevy is light. It's, oh, it drives me insane. I understand why well, World Jake is just an old 70s old, but I mean, when I get a V8, I want to get up and go, really get up and go, but it doesn't really do that. So that's why this year's 2018 best truck of the year is the Ram Dakota V8. Now it's not, it's just, I love the truck. because Not just because it's, it's a quick car. It's because it's a little truck with a V8. Where can you get that? Tell me right now in the comments. Where can you get a truck that has a V8? And don't see the cutter because it's cause cause already what it is. I know some of you people will do that. Don't say, 
you might say Tacoma. No, there is no V8 for it in the front of Tacoma. If it was, well, I, it may be an old car. Like, really, really old, like 60s. And I don't think they had a V8 back. For, like, well, a truck back then. I mean, maybe before Zona. But yeah. No Colorado, no sh no Ford, no nothing. You can't get nothing over here besides the Dakota. Which I'm glad Chrysler did. That was a good that was a good move. And they may not have sold a lot, but I enjoy it. And you're in Megan, so that's why it's this year's truck of the year. Alright, time to move on to a beautiful Well Oh so yeah, so we're before we go into sedans, we'll have two categories. I only have one car for. It. We have a hatchback category, which, which is the focus, the the Toyota Focus Challenge Trail 4 Focus SC manual. I love that car. It's a hatchback. Yes, I know it's not a sedan, but I'm going to put it into the sedan category for now, just because it's the only car. I hope the owner is okay with that. So let's move on to a category with only one car. Is the God thing I have in my mind. Quite specific. Sorry about that. Yes, that is a, a minivan. It's a, it's a one of its kind. I didn't include it in the SUV category because, well, it's not an SUV. It's a minivan. <laughs> and I love the car. It's obviously the winner because it's it's by default. But even if it had other cars, the only car that I, if I did review on me, I would review it. I would review it against the Honda Odyssey. With a, the Kia Sorento, whatever it's called. Oh, it says free, sorry. Kia, whatever it's called. The Kia version, the Volkswagen, and all those. That's a review again. And I would probably choose, I still probably choose the Pacifica. It's, it's a beautiful car. I like some of the features of Honda. I like the look of the Honda a bit more. But you can't beat that gas mileage. I mean, you gotta think more of someone who's living with it, someone who's the her who needs this car. You know, people who want this car probably are moms or dads who just have lots of kids, just yeah, well, you do lots of stuff and you need a truck or car vehicle with lots of space. That vehicle can do it. And it's a wonderful car to be in. Guys out there, don't be afraid to drive a stinking minivan. You can tell your friends, Well and me yes I drive a minivan but it's one of the nicest things you can drive. I love how it's so quiet easy and I don't have to care in the world just lay back and drive and just relax the kids are comfortable with their fancy iPads back there and on the head that's it's literally what they are and they can I mean, I can just relax and de-stress that's what you guys out there who have this vehicle that's what you can tell those people who make fun of you having a main round that, that's how much I loved it it's stylish it's classy it's it is, it is way more than in your average minivan. Crash like you knocked it out of the park. So, I highly recommend it to anyone who has it. And if you need a dealer, well, go to Hayes. Hayes has them out there. They have the hybrid. And you can pick one of these up for about, I want to say for the ground. They're on discount right now because it's the end of the year. But this video is going up on New Year's. So, you have to be to get one. Have fun. Hopefully Tracy's there, probably not. <laughs> but anyway, I love the car. I hope anyone who wants one goes out there and gets one. Please though, wait, if you go to the dealer, please mention my name. Ask for Tracy. She's gonna give you a good deal. She knows what it's like to be a mom. She has I think two or three kids of her own. She knows what it's like. She knows what she, you guys don't you can't how much how hard it is to afford a few kids, how hard to get a good car. So she's gonna give you a good deal. She knows and she's going to take good care of you. I highly trust her. She gets good rating. She, it's, just go to Tracy. Go to Tracy. You'll be happy. Trust me. Alright. Next is Sedans. Alright. This Sedan category is going to be big because there's so many of them I did. I review. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and count them. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Five sedans. Let me ask you, so Jake is not a lot, 
Well, I'm a really, this is my first year I started doing this, and I've been doing this since, I want to say August. So, I didn't get a lot of reviews, in, but still, that's a lot of cars out of the ones I did. So, I'm splitting this category into two. The, we're going to be doing two categories. One luxury cars and one economy cars, like uh, the Elantra, the Accord, and the Focus. Yes, another Focus is a hatchback, and I know we specifically the hatchback, but still, like I said before, we're including it into the sedan category because I don't have another hatchback. And whereas the, the Challenger, I did automatically put the muscle car because it's so different from the muscle car. It's a, it's, it behaves, when that, it behaves like a muscle car, it acts like one, it looks like one. It's not your traditional sport car, it's its own unique thing. That's why it has been into a category. It can't be put in the sport car category it's the way it is. Whereas the Focus, it really feels, it feels, it's, I like the way it drives, but because the sedan version, I'm guessing, may feel similar, so. I know when they create them, they make them very easy to do. So, I'm just going to put in Sedan for now. Hope that's alright. You can yell me in the comments all you want. I don't care. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the regular the economy cars. First up, we have... I'm going to get to it. The Chuggly Sporty 2013 Honda Elantra. That car was insane. Now I'm, and I'll take you to say that so much. I'm like, I know. So these cars are crazy. I went into this review thinking it was just going to be a regular, just a compact car. It's going, it's going to be nice. It's just an common car. Something you drive to school and all that. Because I drive a Corolla. But, no! <laughs> this car very surprised me. It is, it will, it is sporty. It's not, Stupid fast, but it it was like I said, shockingly sporty. I had no idea it was gonna be that sporty. I thought it was just gonna be in the common car. It still is, it's still designed to be a common car, but it has a very sporty personality, which I'm which I'm thinking, why would you do that? People who buy this car don't want a sporty personality car. They buy a sport car for that. But I just love the way it like it's like that. That just shows their culture. And now, I mean, me by that, it gets up and goes, it makes a good, it, it, it has a noise, I'll, I'll play a little sound clip in a second. And, it even drives like what? It corners hard, it's, you know, it has nice curved steering wheel, I love the way the steering wheel is, it's very cut and curved that you see on a sport car, it's, it's crazy what Honda did with this. And how do you make sport cars? I've seen them, they, they look just as good as, they, they have their own, they look like sporkers, but this, it's just, it's just, wow. Alright, next, now the cons for it, uh, it has a few, I forget exactly what I said about it. I do like the heated seats, which are really nice. Rear heated seats, by the way, but yeah, rear, rear, uh, that was really surprising. The only thing I didn't really like about it, well, just, just for me, because I drive, like, the way I drive, is... It doesn't really like to be floored all that much, which you shouldn't really do that, but it doesn't really like to really be pushed to its limit or anything, which is not the way the car is made, but that's just on me. Now, if you're buying, if you're looking at this car, you're probably not going to drive it the way I was wanting to drive it, but that's, that's just me. I drive my car the way I like to drive it, and I like to, I don't drive it too fast, but I do like to give it some gas, because I like the way, I like the noise it makes, and that's it makes a good noise, so... If I'm gonna own this car, I wanted to make some, make that beautiful noise. It's like music to my ears. So yeah. And I've heard some bad reliability from Hyundai in the past, but I don't, I, from what I heard, this car does pretty well, so I highly recommend this car to any, like I said, any car shooting or people who live in a big city like Atlanta. And I know this car will be so easy in Atlanta. You guys know how hard traffic is. This car will be so much fun just to drive around. Parking both parking, get good gas mileage. You won't have to worry about being a big SUV. Trust me, I know SUVs are bigger now, but having a little sedan in the big city is a big deal breaker and it's so easy. Trust me, I have a Corolla and I love it. I don't drive in the big city, but 
You won't believe how it is. Oh, there's a parking place. It's little. I'm little. Boom. Like that. That's what I love about the car. Alright, next up, the Honda Accord. It is, to me, it's almost like an Acura, and I drove an Acura. This is the last generation, which I will be reviewing the new one eventually, once I get around. If, the, if one of my new subscribers is watching, who I believe you're one of my exactly sure. If you're watching, email me and we'll set a review f to review it. But, back to the 2017. I really like this car. It's it's not really as sporty as a thousand me. I thought it was going to be as sporty as the Elantra or just be sporty car this way it looks. But it's not. It's just an economy car, which people who buy this car expect that. But I'm doing, but people who are like me, who know Honda and know what Honda makes, especially with the Seva Type R rolling around, I expect it to be, I was hoping to be some sporty car that's fun and that's really tough on corners and things, but it's not, which is perfectly fine. I do like the way it drives though. It's comfortable, it gets up and goes, and you sit back and relax. I love that little right turn signal where I can show you a blind spot. I love that camera, the little camera, the wine spot monitors the camera. I love that. I, I like the sensor in the F 150s and on the cars, but a camera is so much better. You can literally see it. And if it fails, well, the camera, if it, the only way it can fail, if the camera just doesn't turn on. If it turns on, you can see it. You can literally see the, the car, if a car is there or not. You can't say, well, maybe the, car, the computer will make it up. I'm like, how would it make it up? It's a camera. It's not a computer. It's a stinking camera. Okay, technically it is a computer, but it's, it's an it's a camera. It's not a uh, you know uh all right some people some people can be a little bit stupid, I'm sorry. But anyways, I love that car. It has nice features. I like uh one of the cool quirks about it was that little green ring was if you drove it really aggressive, it would turn away <laughs> to say, Why are you you so far as you like, you should be driving green. I'm in a economy car. I'm not in a sport car. Who do you, if you want a sport car, go drive the Civic Type R. You bought me for, for driving re relaxing. I'm trying to see gas mileage. I'm trying to save me some money here, boy. What do you think you're doing? That's what that car was like. <laughs> but yeah. The only cons were, well, um, I didn't really like the gauges too much. They were nice, but compared to the new one, it's, it's old. I'm glad they, they changed it with that new digital display. That thing is so nice. But I do like it has a little gear shift. I, I don't... I'm sorry. I just... I'm I'm still getting used to buttons. I still don't trust them. It took me a while to trust push button. I love push button. That they actually work now. But yeah. Alright, next up. Car you probably guys have never seen on the channel. It is on, it is on the channel. You can go over and look at it. It's only two minutes long. This was my first, I would say my first review I did on YouTube, which was the luxurious 2008 Acura TL. I love that car. I can't record me me driving it, which I should have. I'm sorry. It was my first, yeah, first bill of Jake and you didn't record you driving it. But yeah. I love that car. That, it really surprised me. I thought, I knew it was going to be luxurious, but. I didn't know it would be fast. That thing is luxurious and quick and sporty at the exact same time. You can be, it's super comfortable. I mean, those seats, I could take a nap at. It was, it was like, like people who drive Bentleys and Rolls Royces, they don't get out of the car because it's so comfortable. That's what this car was. I literally want to, I literally, I, well, the, the guy, me and my, the guy who owns this is a good friend of mine. I mean, went to his house to play some video games as a review. I literally, on the highway, they about to see and just sat there and relaxed. That's literally, that's what I love about that car. It feels that way. And it gets up and goes. That thing will get up and go. I didn't go too fast in it, but I think I got to go, I think 45. And I had a little small strip. And the parking lot I used was not that quite big as the one I use now. So, that's a pretty quick car for a small huh, space. Oh yeah, the only cons where I had were was the navigation system. It it's uh, it's outdated, which you get when you buy this car. So that's not really that that's just a little setback for people buying this car. But 
just either don't you get use your phone, use the nav use navigation for some things, or you can upgrade if you want, or whichever whichever you want to do. But don't buy this car for the navigation system. Just get up your more for that. But yeah, I love this car. It re it people say, oh, it's just a rebadged Honda. No, it's not. This car is a lot. It is so much more than just a Honda Accord. Even though that's literally, I believe that's what this is. Where, wherever it is, I, I know it's, I know in Japan it's a Honda batch, but it's so nice to drive. I see these cars everywhere, and I every time I see one, I'm like, that guy, that guy, that's what's up. That's a fun car. So I just I love the car. I see why people love these. They're fast and they're luxurious. What more could you want? That's hard to do with a car. All right, next. Oh wait, sorry guys. That's luxury. That's a luxury car. I am sorry. I didn't realize that. All right, that's the Acura. That's for the luxury car. I am sorry. I was trying to make sure I include the Acura. Okay, let's do the four 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 focus hashtag before I forget. All right. I love this folk the focus. It is so cool. It is ridiculously fast for a little car. For a little, but you, it doesn't have a four cylinder. And I love the sound. The sound. It is such a beautiful sound. It's I love sounds of V8 to V6 because they have that nice grumble sound, that angry engine. This is a little four cylinder that screams your head off. I mean I'm not kidding. It's just Crazy! I mean, I love that this car can do that. It's so, um, such a wonderful car. I love us a manual. To me, the best way to drive a hatchback is a manual. To me, you gotta get the manual. And it's so much fun to drive manual! I love shifting through the gears and hear that beautiful engine purr. She is a fun car to drive. I love the technology. I love all the little screens and everything. It's not, it's not, obviously it's not up, updated to the new one, but the new, well, the new Ford Tech, but I do like this car. I'm a huge Ford fan. Sorry. Sorry, Chevy fans. I like old brands, but Ford's one of my favorite brands. And I love this car. It deserves that Ford badge. It deserves it very well. And I am so sad that Ford's no longer making this beautiful car. It's a wonderful car. But people don't really want this kind of a car, which is sad because I love it. It's exactly what I want in the car. But still, now we'll update in this car. The the owner was selling it, but it's no longer available right now. It's got rag. I'm not gonna see much more. All right. Next, let's talk. All right. That's the end of the just the economy cars. And the best, I want the best one is the Ford Focus. I'm sorry, Honda fans and Honda and Hyundai Korean fans. I'm sorry, all my April people are going to give me put hashtag dislike button. But I love the Ford Focus. It's so much fun. And that sound. I mean, come on, guys. Can you really say no to that beautiful four cylinder? I mean, come on. It's a it's a wonderful car to drive. I know everyone here was ha has one. They love the car. One of my good buddies oh, used to have a Focus, and it was, I believe it was a manual, which is crazy. So yeah, that's why it's this year's 2018 best car. That doesn't mean I don't like the Honda Accord they launched. I love this car. I just, if I was going to pick them between the three cars, I would pick the, fo the Focus. I just love that car. Now, if you like, if you like the core better or the Alondra, that's, that's your opinion. You can go with it. You go buy the car. But, if that's me, I'll buy that focus. Alright, next, luxury cars. I've already talked about the, the Acura. Unfortunately, sorry, I just, I'm on a roll here trying to get things done. Alright, let's move on to... Come on. Right yet. Come on, bear with me. 2004 Infinity G35. Now, when I say crazy, I mean this thing is 
It's it sounds like it's on steroids. It's a sedan. A sedan that literally will slap your face for thinking it's slow. I'm not kidding. I went to in this review thinking it was gonna just be a luxury car. That's why I did in my school a, a parking a big a semi big parking lot and not thinking it's gonna go fast. It's it's way fast. I I should have joined the bigger public. I had no idea how it was going to do what it did. It's a crazy car. It's, I love it. I love it though. My favorite things about it are, well, the besides the beautiful noise, it's, well, that's one of them. It's quick. I got that thing to go 50 miles an hour. I mean, are you kidding me? 50 miles an hour. That thing's a quick car. It's almost 60, and the car wasn't going to, like you said, a little bit more warm, the car would have gone 60. That's just, that's just crazy. The brakes are insane. Not too crazy. They're pretty good for that quick of a car. The, it, the, it, it drives, it handles cars sharp. It has a beautiful V6, which I've heard, I've heard people tell me that it's the GTR engine. Remember in the comments below if that's true or not. It's just a crazy car. I to me, I love driving that car. I drive lots of cars, and that's one of the few cars that I would go out and drive again. So I just enjoyed it so much. It was funny. I don't know if I said this in the video when we were recording the first time. He didn't press record, so the whole me talking about it, he didn't even press record. So I'm like, okay, we gotta do it do again. But I didn't care. I loved the car. I was having so much fun with the car. And this is what you get when you get this car. Which, I once I didn't put to some of my friends, and it's like that. It's, it was made to be that way, and all, everyone who has to go love it. And I just thought it was going to be a regular luxury car. I, it goes to show, never judge a car. Now, don't judge a car, judge a book by its camera. Don't judge a car by its badge or the way it looks. Because it, it, it is 100% different character of a car than I thought it was going to be. I knew it, the sport car was going to be like a sport car, which I want to review soon. But I didn't even know the damn version was going to be just as good, or even remotely fast. I thought it was just going to be a toned down car that's, well, get some of those, but you know, just relaxing car. No! <laughs> no, it's a straight up, it's a straight up sport car! But the sedan was two back seats! So you can have more, more. You can get some girls and have some mom or guys, whichever you prefer. So yeah, and that's why this it's the crazy fast 2004 Infinity G35 is this year's best luxury car, and it deserves it. It deserves it. It was so much fun. I do love the Acura TL. Don't get me wrong. I love that car. And it was so hard to choose one in this category because they're both are very unique cars. But at the end of the day, as I was thinking about the cars, I try to look at T. I'm like, oh, that's a nice car. Every time I see a G35, I want to drive that car. Oh, I wish I could drive that car again. That's that's what I was thinking about. I love driving the TL, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. It was like that's a good experience. I love it, and I love that car. But every time I see a J35 look, that guy knows what's up. I want to drive a car so bad. He is so lucky. He may not even know how, how good that car is, but... Ugh. Good car. That's what that is to me. And to me, if a car does that, you mean leave me that impression, then it deserves my best car of the year. That's why it is. Not because it's... Huh. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm a Nissan boy, or do I don't like Acura, or I like old cars better. No, it's it's just the way it drove. I, I had so much fun driving that. You may like the Acura better. You gotta drive it for yourself. But I highly recommend anybody who is a big car enthusiast or just loves imports, drive this car. Drive this again. Trust me, you will be blown away. And do not judge it. Don't judge it by its badge or the way it looks. Because this car... We'll slap you. I watched a really good movie today, the new Mary Poppins, 
um, they were singing a song about Don't Judge a Book by its cover. And it was kind of funny. It's like, a cover may be nice, but it doesn't tell the character, which makes sense. This card is exactly that morale. It definitely teaches that lesson. It, it does not look like a card that will go fast. It looks like just going to be relaxing, just a luxury girl, like the Edgar T.O. But, no! He is not like that at all. At all. At all. It's, it's crazy. That's why I love that card. And that's why it's this year's best 2018 card of the year. No. It's a dance. Luxury sedans. That best car car. All cars. I know some of the people who get that mixed up. But, yeah. And that's it. I had so much fun this year. I want to say right now, give a shout out to all the owners of the cars. Just want to tell you guys thank you so much for letting me drive these cars. I love taking each of them out and having some fun. I love every single one of them. Each of them was a memorable experience. I will never forget it. And I love doing it. I met new people. You guys are amazing. And I love all my other subscribers who just watched these videos for fun. You guys are amazing. I love support. I love the likes. And you guys are just good people. And I, and I love you guys. Alright. Time to do some stuff. I know you guys are curious. Now, my most popular video right now, and I'm going to explain why, is some videos I posted when I was just doing a written blog. I used to have, well, I still do. I have a blog where I write. I don't do it too much because my YouTube kind of took off a little bit. And, and I have some, so my blog wouldn't let me do any videos on there, so I'm like, okay, I'll just do YouTube. So, that's why some of these videos have more views because people are looking them up. Now, my most popular review review is the Volvo with 82 views, which is crazy. It's, I can't believe how many views the car has. Which I kind of expected because it is a Volvo, but it is crazy. Now, the second most popular video, which really surprised me, was the minivan. The minivan! Are you kidding me? It's a minivan! I guess that many soccer moms like to watch my videos. <laughs> oh yeah, that video has 53, which is crazy. When I first uploaded it, it only got a couple of views. I'm like, oh, okay, it's a minivan. Next day, next day, it's Monday rolls around. Check it again. 16, 24, 34. I'm like, what the hell? I mean, it's just crazy. But yeah, that's why so many videos are. And I love doing them. I love doing all the other car shows I do and all that. It's fun. And I'm, I ain't going to stop. I am not going to stop. So, Happy New Year. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Be sure to watch all the videos against, if you miss a couple of them. I, especially today, Acro TO, which that doesn't have many views, which I can really understand. I didn't drive it, which is makes sense. And it's on my film, so just, if you don't mind watching it, just watch it for a minute. Just if you want to see, oh, the first is... Just review videos, it's so nostalgic. Look how good he is now, like, like that. Go, I know people like to do that. But yeah. It's amazing. And I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna keep doing this. I have so many more reviews coming. So, I wanna give a shout out to all my new subscribers that wanted your review. I'm gonna show you right now. Let's see. Go to my channel page. Click the About button and click Details for Business Inquiry email address. That is my email address. If you're, I know a couple of people who said they wanted to do a review, but I haven't really heard from them. So if you're so interested, and you're just right there, just email me up and we'll schedule a date. And we'll have some fun and, we'll, and I'll add it to my fleet of reviews. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little summary of all my videos. I really have fun. So, right now, I'm going to leave